Hello everyone, this is the pause screen. There's actually a pause screen. If I hit F12, or FN F12 if you play on keyboard, you can pause and unpause the game. Oh look, we're here at that stupid bridge. Oh look, I have more SP this time. Da 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 bum ba dum. No, not rush. Uh, that was not what I wanted to do. Well, so much for that. <sighs> Can I get a second take? It's Monday, folks. Let's try that again. By the way, all this has been restored. This is episode 16 of Millennium, by the way, for those who don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. For those of you who have been following and wondering where the heck the... Hmm. The videos have... Well, not the videos, but the... Co how I have been commenting on videos recently. It's not because of you guys. I did get back to them finally, by the way. Just been a long week. Heal me! Heal me! John A. Thank you, but um, Benoit's looking a little beat up. Um, do I... Hmm, yeah. Let's see. We're at level 5. When you stupid things go down, okay. I'm gonna have you attack normal. You're gonna have to, yeah, we can afford it. One down. Well, she's out. Heal up, dang it! Wow! I didn't have this much problems last time! Dang it. It's these freaking tigers. I love using scared. There, now maybe I can do something. Thank you! Good God. Okay, you're gonna call Marine. Heal immediately. If you defend, you're gonna use your the other lion. You're gonna attack. Get some damage out with her, and then I'm gonna heal. Fight skill, sidekick. Defend, heal. That worked a little less than wanted. Then was back in action. Fend skill, um, wind hand, you, heal. Still dead. Lovely. Okay, one out. We're gonna tiger. Thank you for coming back with full health, marine. Two out, okay, we're doing better. Last one. Mm. 
heal myself. You can attack, though. You can afford it. Okay, we got control of the fight. We have control. Everyone take him out! Yes! Safe. Run, 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 run! And into town. Bogo Baka! Swamp Village welcomes you! It does welcome me with actual muscle points. Yes, so! That's how far we were from the town. We were one fight away. That's why I wasn't happy. Now, I'll be honest, guys, after that fight, I actually passed out for a little bit. I just went, done. But before we do anything around here, don't touch that crystal. We should actually go and find our third party member first. Can't get that chest because it's already been grabbed. Ooh, orb. Don't mind if I do. I mean, it's on the way. If something's on the way, I suggest grabbing it. I mean, it's a lot easier. So this must be the village we're looking for. It's a bit creepy. It's not creepy. Everybody left. That's all. Everybody left, so we can't find a rebel? I'm sure we will. And do you think we'll find crocodiles, too? Not quite. More like they'll find us. <laughs> I don't quite like your humor. What are you afraid of? Crocs? I'm going to make toast of them, and I'm sure croc meat is delicious. You're killing me, Marine. You never seem to get scared. Heh <laughs> let's keep moving. Yeah, I'd prefer not getting into a fight right now, Marine. You're kind of beat up. Are you the one called the Rebel? I'm pretty sure that's her. Sorry, but no, you've come to the wrong place. Huh? No way, she has to be lying. I do, I know her though. Do you mind if I ask what you want from her? Oh sure, my name's Marine, and this is Benoit. I've come a long way looking for help. I was told that she would probably be great for what I have in mind. I doubt she wanted to help you. So tell me, what's so important that a young girl like you would come all the way out here to ask for her help? I'm trying to gather together the strongest people in the country of Mist. That's not rude, but that seems like an odd thing to do for someone so young. What exactly is that supposed, that's supposed to accomplish? I'm trying to gain rulership of Mist Rock. You can't be serious! Look, I lied. I'm the one you're looking for, but there's no way I've got time for you, your fool's errand. You'd better go. What? But if you're her, then why? I don't understand. Won't you just hear me out? Bah, I knew it turned out this way. Let's go, Marine. We're just wasting our time. Listen to your boyfriend. He's wiser than you. Huh? Him? First of all, he's not my boyfriend. He's my cousin. And he's not wise. He's just a lousy, pessimistic coward. Well said. All right, look, I'll give you two minutes to explain to me what all the fuss is about. This is just out of curiosity, mind you. Two minutes, got it. There's not one village in the country that isn't suffering horribly. Miss Rock, on the other hand, they have the means to help us because they're extremely wealthy. If only they would stop refusing to help us, the country could be saved. If I can gather 13 warriors, I can invoke the martial law and beat the current rulers. Then I'll rule and spread the wealth so that everyone can have a decent life. Hmm... You don't say. So the first step is finding 13 warriors, the best of the best. And who have you found so far? Eh, nobody. <laughs> hey, you're the first one I've asked. Look at it this way. Nobody has turned her down so far. You'd be the first. You wouldn't want to set a trend and cause her a lot of pain, would you? Sheesh, Benoit! Let me do the talking, okay? <sighs> Please, Miss Rebel. What Benoit says is true. I came here because someone in another village recommended you to me. Who? A clown. Ahaha, ha, says it all. Next time, don't take advice from a clown, okay? He recommended you because he thinks you're strong. Only, I would have expected much more from someone who boasts herself as a rebel. I see. Do you have any idea why I picked that name? Of course you don't, so I'll fill you in. Begin with, my name is Kareen. You must have thought that this place looked horrible when you first walked in. This used to be a beautiful village, but people began living because they were either, I mean, leaving because they were either lazy or just too fit up with trying to maintain it. Oh, I know me. Nature can be merciless. We had bad weather and difficult ground. 
What's the point of giving up? I hate that. I've stayed. I refuse to give up the way they all did. I learned to live here the way things are. And no swamp or crocodile or anything for that matter is going to make me move. Well, I'm going to make you move. Huh, you're funny for being so young. You've really got some guts. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm plenty scared. I just know that grumps aren't so mighty either if you don't push them. I want to give us all a chance. I've seen a glimpse of a different future while watching squirrels help each other. If I just drop everything and don't try, then who will? Uh, I'll be honest. I'm not all that interested. There's just no way you can pull it off. Besides, this village needs me on a daily basis. But you know what? I want to test the odds and give you a small chance. Really? I said a small chance, okay? There's an old crocodile down in the swamp. It's bigger than any other crocodile I've seen, and, extre and it's extremely fierce. I've never been able to confront it alone, but with the two of you. If you'll both agree to come along with me, and we manage to slay the beast, then you can count me in. You mean it? Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! This is madness! I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to! I'm trying not to! Don't get so excited just yet. If we fail, you agree to leave my village without argument. Mm, sorry to barge in, but if we fail, we'll probably be dead. It's really so important that we tackle some giant crocodile. I mean, there must be some other test that we can take. What about trying to catch as many fireflies as possible, or compete, or competitive garden growing? I don't know, just anything but that. Chicken! Sheesh! Look, killing a crocodile is very important to me. I've had to live with the fear that it could roam into the village and attack me or the few other residents that still live here. It's not going to be easy. I can manage a single normal crocodile, but this one? The deeper we go, the more of them there will be, and we could be attacked by the rogue at any time. That's why I call it, by the way. We'll be training on its hunting ground, so it'll be important that we stay sharp. Maybe I should head back west while I still can. Maybe you should have picked up that croc net while we still can. Oh, wait, we did. Benoit! Don't you care about anything but yourself? It's now or never. I won't ask twice. Of course we'll go. We'll find that rogue and slay it. Just lead the way. Marine, why, why are you so... Uh, excuse me. Why are you, why are you so, so crazy? <laughs> Alright, you made your decision. Follow me then. Who are you going to call? Marine and her sixth quest done. I hope you realize that this is the second time I've helped you, Marine. Six quest down? Progressive gamer get for the sixth quest. Now for those who... Ooh, new skill. Crocodile hunt acquired. We use this skill to enter the swamp. So I'm going to save it re here real quick. And that's odd that they use smaller icons. Because we were on uh, world map when we sa saved last. Cool, interesting feature though. But we now have Kareen. I can look at her skills. We can craft new stuff out of raw material. Do you have any stick? Defensive trident! This broken paladin helmet, I'm gonna remove and give him the shepherd's hat. Go to Kareen. Craft. The few materials I've learned to use to make weapons and tools. Do you have anything? Yep. Broken paladin helmet becomes. The paladin helmet! Ta da! Kareen can't use helmets? But that defensive trident can help her. I also have reflex and dark gloves. But we don't want to quit the dark gloves. I'm going to go and look at using the defensive trident. And there we quit the lizard mail on marine. She does have azure corset. You can tell she likes to be wrapped up in things. I never put the lizard mail on. Smart me. Yeah, there's croco and feline nets that we can give her. The feline net I'm going to equip for now, especially run into any more surprises outside the village until we're done. Because those stupid, stupid felines. And that gives us an advantage. Our third party member, though, finally! I nurtured out our other skills. So we got Martial Mind, where we raise a V and lose some HP. Fighting Spirit, which raises our power. Black Orb, which... Does large damage. We can only do that five times a battle, though. Well, five times before you have to heal. And scared to try and press all enemies, and we can enter swamp using her crocodile hunt skill. So we have green orb, blue orb, black orb. 
She is actually tied with Marine currently on XP. While Benoit hangs back a level, but that's fine. No, she has zero SP. Yeah, I think we're... I don't think she'll be getting any. So, she'll be, um, limited. But, there could be no limit to her limit. Oh, yeah, I didn't fully explore everything as we walked to a gravesite. You know me. I should really think about checking out everything in the house. Oh, come on. Don't look at me like that. It's not mine. I never wear something like that. Hey, look, I remember why I said it in the first place. Huh? Nobody said anything. So, yeah. I don't know... I do know one thing. She does like corsets. That's her thing. I mean, I've seen the profile images and everything of her, and she does. That's almost all she has in every image I've seen. I could be wrong, and someone could have hit someone somewhere, but I haven't done extensive Google searching, so yeah. Oh, and by the way, that's Quest... We did finish Quest 22. Oh, I should actually change her equipment. This is what we should actually be using. She is apparently the best one with the reflex glove, unfortunately. We are going to be using the feline net for a little bit, because like I said, we're going to be going outside. But we still got a lot of stuff we got to search around, because this town is not small. Yeah. We got Swamp P Pimento. Is that it? Three Swamp? We got right here, we got some Chamfrule. I think that's how you say it. I was fishing when Crocodile got me. The stories are so sad, I wish I could have protected them. You cannot talk to the ghosts without Kareen in the party. They won't talk to you or anything, so don't worry about it. That's something important. So, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff around here if you search hard enough. That's what I'm trying to find, stuff that we haven't gotten yet. I may have to go to the second um, map. Because, no offense, this area is really blocked off. You can't see a lot of the stuff. So I'm trying to see where all the chests and everything good are. And it is a little um, confusing. So if I spend two episodes here, you guys know immediately why. Because I'm trying to grab everything. And this place, like I said, has a lot of blocks in it. Plus, that's one of the things you never know is uh, if you can jump to a place or not. But yeah, she is useful. This map does get me confused sometimes, I'll be honest. Of course, I've only played this area twice, but... Because that's where we're supposed to go, right there. There's the chest I was looking for. And that's how you hop over. There's a great potion. Nothing there. So we got that one. Let me scratch that off our list. So I might leave that blooper in because that was just a pretty bad blooper.
Okay, remember that crystal that was near the glowing at the start that I said to pass over? Normally I'd say don't grab stuff like this. But audio guy and another and the guy used that we do we do browse the guides for this game. Anything we can find for reference in case of materials or anything. This does nothing to the third member. I mean to the fourth member. Everyone just got one SP except for that last person, which would not happen anyway. It could change if I was wrong. Also, there is something I did miss. In this house, I did leave it marked. If I'm correct anyway, there was something else in here. <laughs> no, I'm right. Like I said, I have a list of stuff that sometimes gets a little mixed up. Right here. Oh, I was wrong. Darn it! Are you guys like, um... He's like looking, he's, he's trying to do rolls. He's like, look. Like, literally, he's sitting there rolling his arms, like, trying to tell me colored rolls. Trying to give me the signal. He's not telling me to hurry up and end because we're going a little over today. But yeah. Okay, now we can go towards the next place. I uh, grow salad. This is a ghost that doesn't mean it's taking the time to live. House right here. Right here we got an alchemy hat. Magic, magic, magic. This is my home. I'm going to be a witch when I grow up. And the magical roots from the swamp, I'll create a teleportation hat to visit new places with. Don't you fear the crocs? No, because of my witch powers, I'll turn them into frogs. And I'll take the frogs' legs to create even more potions. She's funny, just a bit out of touch. So yeah, we actually have someone here. And we get to go north again. Yeah, we gotta follow the path. I mean, we're almost done searching. Hello. Whoa, so the ghost actually talks to you. It's not as talkative as you might think. But yeah, it's almost like a normal villager. This is a ghost town, you know. A true one at that. Are they all people killed by crocodiles? What makes you say that? Ghosts are the spirits of dead people, and that's the most common way people die around here, isn't it? You're a strange one, you know that? If you think crocs are such a common cause of death, Marine, then what makes you think going out of our way to hunt one is such a good idea? Aside from the obvious, you mean. I just missed the line, oops. So deal with it. Alright, guy, we'll put the line that I missed in there so you guys can fully read it. Well said. So all he says is hello. We just got a new quest. Maybe. No, nothing. Hmm. Unless there's another one. And there might be more than one. There might be plenty. I'm helping Kareem with the daily tasks, but it's hard. Sometimes I think we should move. Oh! A shop. Let me buy one witch bomb. Hmm. Yes, I'll buy. Hmm. I'll buy 20. You never know. You know what? Skew it. Buy the lot! Might be another ghost that I was supposed to talk to because I am supposed to get a quest from a ghost. Boo hoo hoo hoo! That ghost has been crying for weeks. I don't know what it wants. Don't give it the tear yet! Don't! Doing that is going to be a big mistake. If you give it the tear now, the fourth character won't get the reward. 
We want to wait for everybody. Unlike the little crystal that we saw that I told you to grab, that will affect the fourth character, so we don't want to do that. Either way, we are done at Boko Baka. So I'm going to save and end the episode here with our fourth member, and I'm going to save in file one. So yeah, I hope you had fun, and I'll see you on the next one, where we might, have to, might actually go after that swamp, well, that croc. See you then.